What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword Shield. In today's video, we're rocking out with a Kangaskhan team. Something cool, something new. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support. Kangaskhan is one of those Pokemon I have not shown off since the Isle of Armor has come out. So we're here, ready to show him off. He has a Scrappy ability. He's rocking out in our front spot. What the Scrappy ability actually allows us to do is let fighting moves and normal moves hit ghost type so we can actually fake out a ghost type which is awesome it's also holding that chopper berry with his moves of drain punch double edge protect and like i said fake out we also have galate on this team this team just looks so cool we got a bunch of fighting pokemon and it just looks awesome but like i'm saying we got galate just by galate so if we want to uh, beat it up or anything but we do not have a beat up pokemon but you guys already know the deal if we get hit by a dark type move we can actually just keep on boosting that attack but we have the focus sash close combat psycho cut both for sad we can roll trick room if you want and we have protect then in the next spot behind my webcam, we got our big boy Lucario with that life orb. Inner focus cannot be flinched. Life orb, like I said, flash cannon, aurora spear, vacuum wave for first turn priority, and protect all stab moves on that boy. Then we got choice specs in Cinderella over here, which is pretty cool. I never use a choice specs in Cinderella. I usually like to roll them out with like the piggy berry or something along those lines. This one is choice specs with the intimidate normal ability, parting shot, burning jealousy, snarl, and scorching sands. Down in the bottom left, we got ourselves an attacking Grim Snarl with Frisk and Assault Fest, Play Rough for Stab, Dark Accelerate for Stab, Drain Punch, and Power Whip for Coverage. And then in the final spot, I'm going to guess this is a G-Max Machamp Fighting Type. You guys already know the deal. Close Combat for Stab, Knock Off, Take Off Items, Full Punch for First Turn Priority, and High Horsepower. This thing is also Guts with Weakness Policy, so if we can trigger any of those two, we're going to get rolling and do some big damage. If you guys want to try out this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get it, y'all. I'm ready to show off Kangaskhan, so let's go hop into some battles. First battle coming at you guys, this guy has a Trick Room team or a Tailwind team, whichever one he wants to go into. I'm definitely going to leave my Kangaskhan. I have Fake Out on that. I can roll from there. I can hit Ghost Typings with my normal moves and Fighting moves, which is awesome. He has two Ghost Types with the Policy and, and that Mimikyu. But definitely Kangaskhan is a smart lead here. Um, who should I go in with him as well? I think what's called also works wonderful. Lucario. So I'm definitely going to bring out Lucario. He does work all around. Um, next two spots can go towards blah, blah, blah. Then I'm gonna bring Galade in case he tries to roll a Trick Room I can always cancel out Trick Room with Trick Room And blah, blah, blah. And then in the final spot Who should I go? Final spot I'm gonna go Incineroar Now he's very special attacking so Incineroar's Intimidate won't do too too much here Um, hmm. I'm gonna go Grimstar I'm gonna go Grimstar He has that Assault Vest right there And he has that Fairy Move to take out that, uh, that Flygon And then he has the Dark Moves And all that good stuff to roll out from there but if you guys want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button. Turn on your notifications so you know when I go live. Hopefully we can start off this video with a big fat W just for you guys. And show off this Kangaskhan. Because Kangaskhan is such a cool Pokemon. I really did like his, uh, what was it? His, uh, bu -bu -bum, Mega Evolution X and Y. I thought it was so cool. But it goes, he's double leading the Ghosties. He's double leading the Ghosties. Um, I think I gotta pick on Mimikyu because Palisand might be a Dynamax choice. Palisand might be a Dynamax choice. I'm going to pick out you. And I'm going to just drop a nice little flash cannon over on this side. You get one from there. Here goes my fake out. Look at that. Yo, he's probably so mad. He's probably like, yo, what is going on? He's faking out at my Mimikyu. He probably never had that before. Get out my face, little boy. This guy's just busted. Go ahead. Flash cannon comes out here. Should be able to just take this thing out in one shot. Say, night, night, Mimikyu. Get it out of here. Get started. Getting started strong here. This Palisand don't want it. What's Palisand going to go for? I would like for we're gonna take some damage here, and Palisand's gonna go for an EP. Nice little earth power over my over on my Lucario. And Lucario goes down. So we go trade for trade there, which is not bad at all. We take out Mimikyu, who is such a huge threat. Just such a huge threat. Now we can go into Glade if we really want to, but I kinda wanna go into my Grimmy Boo. Because that's stab stab dark move. And then we can roll out from here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna save Glade for Dynamax. Why might Dynamax the Grimmy Snarl? The Grimmy Snarl. I might actually be trying to go for that uh I might actually have the Dynamax here now. Gotta get rid of that, what's it called? We got weakness policy and a life orb. I might be trying to go for a jerk room. This is kinda scary. No, I'm gonna go for a double edge. I think I'm gonna double up in the Hatterene. I'm playing around with it. And go for a G Max Snooze. That's the call. As much as I wanna go there, I kinda wanna go here. I don't just wanna go for a G Max Snooze. G Max Snooze. Dark type attack uses Dynamax or Gigantamax Grimstar uses and let's. Lose a huge arms full of targets. Okay, let's get it. 
We're just gonna go straight after his Hatterene. I want this Hatterene out the way. I don't want him setting up Trick Room. We might Dynamax his Policy in here and then uh, Max Guard it, but I think he's trying to get Trick Room. So if I get off the Snooze, I bet you I can get off the late, cancel out Trick Room again, and roll from there. But I forget how the Snooze works. Is it a 50% chance of the Snooze happening? Because I used GMAC Cube Snarl before and it has like never worked for me. So hopefully we can uh, see it here. Hopefully we can get it rolling here. Come on. We got Big Boy over here. Big Boy Grimmy. You going to Dynamax as well? He is. He is going to Dynamax. I know he has that weakness policy, so I don't want to trigger it with a overgrowth because he's he's just gonna be able to eat that up, no problem, and then be able to uh, trigger that weakness policy. But he's gonna go Hatterene. Oh, no trick, room. no trick, room. no biscuit. He's gonna go straight into Hatterene, no trick. Room. I'm gonna be able to roll out with a nice big double edge here too, which is wonderful. And what is gonna go on? Double edge comes out first. You eat not bad damage, big old stab damage. I mean, take some recoil, which is kind of scary. And coming out with a snooze, a snoozy poo over here. Get him! Boop! There you go, nice damage comes on. So if we eat up these shots, we're chilling just fine. We have the speed advantage and all that. There you go, the posing Pokemon are getting drowsy. Earth Power's coming out here. Kangs Kong should be able to eat that up, no problem. Yep, that's a tasty little snack he got there. And he's gonna come in with the G-Max Smite, and this is where it gets scary. This is where it gets scary, because now we're confused, and now we gotta worry about that. Salt Vest helps us out. We're both confused. I swear, if he survives off this stuff, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad, but I definitely gotta go into a double edge over on the Polisan. But I can't just double protect. Which would probably be the smart call. Actually, probably not. Hmm, double edge should be able to take us out. I can go double edge there, and I can just go for GMAX News over on here. Is they are Jazzy? I could go for the guard, but we outspeed speed anyway. And try to trigger that snooze. What do you want, fool? What do you want? And I don't think any of these guys have first turn priorities. Hopefully he guards and stuff like that. But he's not gonna guard, he's confused, he's taking a risk. Okay, there we go, we land double edge. This should be able to take... Hatterene out. Yep, Hatterene gone. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. We're sitting good now. We're sitting good. Kangas Khan works through that confusion. Grim Snarl better do the same. You better do the same. Smack him up. Give him the smack skis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big old G Max News coming out here. Would trigger weakness policy, but this thing's gone. This thing is dead. Get it out of my face. We looking good. We come down to a 3v1 situation, and we have Glade in the back who's super fast and can just roll out strong. But I already knew he had like the slow team rolling already. And Tokus comes in the final spot. Oh, we like that. We like to see that. We don't mind it at all. I can go into a double edge here. Double edge hits pretty hard, man. And I can just go for a star fall because it is stab and it's the only one just normally effective to it. Let's get it. That's some green comes out. Oh, is he going to pick up double? Oh, hold up. Hold up. We lost this one. Uh. Uh. Oh, no. Oh no! No, no, no! Am I sure we had Glade back there? Yeah, it is Glade. We are sashed. Oh, this one's gonna be, this one's gonna be a little annoying here. We gotta hope Glade outspeeds and can kill us in, in two shots. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, yo, just when we think we have it in a bag, this thing comes out and drops a Dazzling Gleam, picks up the double kill, and now has an advantage, basically. We are sashed up. We gotta be able to do big damage. Hopefully, we go first because we can. Can Psycho Cut flinch? Something like that. And of course he goes first, you little biscuit. You little buttery biscuit. I need a KO here. I need a KO here or have a single mess. We flinch, bro. What you mean? No! I hate this game. I hate this game. We're going for a Psycho Cut. No! Just when you thought we had it in the bag, this Toe Kiss clutches up like crazy, yo. Gets a flinch as well. But I think he was taking me out uh, regardless if I would have hit the Psycho Cut and all that. But dude, Togek is clutching up. I seriously thought we had that one in the bag. Starting off the video on one, we're going to hop into battle number two. Try to get our first win. Going up against a Sand Rush Sand Slash team in our second battle. It's cool we got to show off that Pokemon in our last video. So if you haven't checked that one out, go check it out. But this guy is hip to uh, set the Sandstorm and Sand Slash roll out in it. But definitely Kangas Khan lead. I like having that fake out just as turn one. He has Togi tomorrow as well, which is kind of scary. Yo, everyone knows Togi's kind of annoying. I could go uh, Machamp, try to trigger Guts with that, right? Guts gets triggered for that. I wouldn't mind it. Um, Or... Or, or what? <laughs> I'm trying to think what else I could do. Kinda, I could go in the choice spec, the uh, Incineroar. Have an Intimidate right off the bat. But I think you might try to go Tailwind, so I kind of want to go Lucario if you're going to go try to go Tailwind on me. And then roll with, I think, Machamp and Incineroar. Let's get it. Let's go. Battle number two. We're looking for that big fat W. Let's get it, Jeans. Let's get it. 
Man, dude, that last battle was so close. I seriously thought we have it in the bag. I always, like, overthink, and, like, I'm just like, oh, we're 3v1. We got this one in the bag. But then he pulls out Toe Kiss, Dazzle Gleam, double kill, rolls out, Air Slash, super effective, flinch, game over. I was like, bro, what do you mean? <laughs> but who's he going to lead? He's going to go Wimscott and Lucario. So we're going to see Lucario mirror matchup. Um, I'm just going to fake out the Wimscott and go go for the takeout on him. Oh, uh, where do I go for a vacuum shot and try to take Lucario out? He's definitely in our focus. I'm definitely going to go for a fake out here. Try to take out Wimscott. I really don't want him going all speedy on me. Because if he takes out my, uh... He takes out my Lucario. I'm fine with it. He actually might Dynamax his own and go for a beat up. We're going to fake out. Okay, beautiful. So he's not. He's probably going to go for a Tailwind. Go ahead. My Lucario goes first. Bro, what you mean he goes first? Are you serious? We eat it up, though. We eat it up, though. Power up punch. He goes plus one. That's fine. And Flash Cannon should be able to come out here and take out the Wim Scott. So nothing going on with you, Wim Scott. Get that thing out of here. I'm not dealing with it. Now I can double up into that uh, Lucario slot. I could go for a vacuum punch, which I probably am going to go for. It seems like his Lucario is uh, just faster than mine. Just in general. But I got to see who he throws out next. That is going to be a big deciding factor. Big old deciding factor. Toga tomorrow. He's definitely going to fake out uh, my Kangaskhan probably. So I might protect my Kangaskhan here. Because he cannot uh, flinch my boy. Uh, do I still go for Drain Punch? I'm still going to go for Drain Punch. And let me check out this thing's speed. Is it just like a speed tie? How is this wrong? Let me see. Let me see my stats. No. He definitely has speed advantage on me. So I'm just going to go for a, wave, a vacuum leaf. And try to do some damage. Because we will take first turn priority with it. We cannot be flinched. We are in a focus. So let's see what he does. Oh my god. He's going to pull out the quick claw on us. Are you serious? This thing's going to pull out the quick claw on This thing's spiky shields. That's totally fine by me. This thing's quick clawing on me. Vacuum wave does come out first. Now you do some big old damage. And hopefully he goes after Lucario here. You can take out my Lucario. I'll be fine with that. Let's see. Power punch. Take out Lucario. Thank you very much. Good thing we didn't go into that protect. We're going to be able to drop a drain punch here. And take out this plus two Lucario. It was going to be huge. It's going to be huge. And now this Togo tomorrow cannot, uh, he cannot, what's it called either. He cannot fake out because he already used first turn. But yo, get out of here, yo. Kangaskhan and his little buddy in his pouch is just ripping up here. We are just ripping up. Like, I love Lucario, but he's just a glass cannon. Everyone knows that. He's just a glass cannon here. Uh, I'm going to pull out him. I might Dynamax my champ here. Start boosting attack, crit rates, all that good stuff. Gotta watch out for the airstream now. That airstream is scary. I mean, I could use this just to trigger weakness policy. Our defense is pretty bulky, too. I think that is the play. Burn it in it. I punch on the Stoker tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna punch on Stoker tomorrow. We go for that G Max Chi as well, which I got. I gotta go for that. Mm. The knock off his item. I don't know if I want to Dynamax him. What do I want to do? I think I want to knock off uh, Gyarados' item and save for Dynamax. He's gonna Dynamax that thing, which is scary. Maybe I should just Dynamax up uh, Kangas Khan. Maybe I should have Dynamax him. We sitting tough here now. We sitting tough here. If I can get off this item, I can tell it to get out of here. It's probably like a life orb. And it might be a mox. It's a mox Gyarados because it didn't intimidate me when it popped out. So let's see. Maybe I should have just swap. Because we know he's going for the airstream, right? Yeah. Just saw that coming all day. Airstream comes out against my champ. And my champ goes down. Bro, what you mean? Game Punch is going to rock out here. And he's going to just start taking speed advantage all day with it. Hmm. I think I got a Dynamax Hangus Kong. Go minus one. And then... I don't know what I should do with Choice Spec. Really. I don't know what I should do with Choice Spec and Sinnoh right here. He's gonna go for a nuzzle. Yo, don't nuzzle me, man. Why you gotta nuzzle me like that? Don't do me dirty. Come on, get off the strain punch, Kang Kang. Good work. Good work. Yeah, you. Do some nice damage over on him. I'll be able to take out Togo tomorrow in the next shot. I actually think he's gonna spiky shield next turn. I really do think he's gonna spiky shield here. Or he might just go for the paralyze, so I might just, uh, just double up into that, uh, I think I got a Dyna Dynamax Kangas Kong, don't I? He's just gonna take out Incineroar in one shot. That's no problem for him. He's just eating. Tim Nate comes out here. I think Kangas Kong definitely has to get the Dynamax here if we're gonna do anything. Yeah, let's get that Dynamax rolling. I got a Max Strike. Start slowing the boy down. Start slowing this boy down. I could just go for a Burning Jealousy. Because I could potentially get a burn on him. That's probably our best bet. Let's try to get a burn on the... Uh, on the Gyarados. You're gonna go for a Spiky Shield. Here comes our Dynamax. Because you know he's going for the Geyser. 
It might just take me out one shot. No, yo, leave me alone. This thing's annoying, and then he might get the moxie boost again. But it all comes down to big dog Kangaskhan here. Can Jeans do it, or is he gonna drop 0-2 in the first two battles? Like, I love using, like, different teams and all that, but the sheer fact is there's so many better Pokemon that I could be playing. He does go for a Spooky Shield. I kind of saw that coming. But, like, I could always be using Cinderace and Rillaboom and just, like, winning matches, but it's so much better to use, like, Pokemon like this and have fun with it, in my opinion. If he goes for the Geyser, that's just gonna dump on me, no problem. He's getting Moxie boosted up. Watch, we're gonna be paralyzed this turn. I'm gonna be like, bro, what you mean? I could guard next turn as well, which could be nice for us. It gets to rain, so Waterfall is, or a Max Geyser is gonna do big damage to us. Big, big damage to us. Let's see what happens. Here's our strike. We're gonna slow him down. Back to normal speed, but they're still both gonna be faster than me. And I think I definitely gotta guard this turn. I definitely gotta guard this turn. If I'm gonna win, definitely gotta guard. 100%. 100% though. Let's guard up. Watch, we're gonna be paralyzed. We're like, no, what do you mean? Come on, don't paralyze me. Don't do me dirty on the guard. I just have a feeling what the paralyzed is coming soon. It's either this turn or next turn. One of my Dynamax turns is gonna, it's gonna waste one for me. This dude's gotta be knowing I'm going for the guard. We guarding. Yes, sir. Get that guard. We land it, though. Guys are coming out here. Blah. Get out of here. And then what's this thing doing? Zing's at. Blah. Get out of my face. And then gotta go. Do we think Gyarados might protect this turn? No, he's gonna outspeed and try to go for a waterfall. If anything. But let's get after it. Let's get after it. Gotta go for another max strike. This max strike will take out this uh this Gyarados here. Bro, Gyarados, leave me alone. He's definitely going for a waterfall. It's gonna be big damage. He's plus one in the rain. Stab. Stop it, yo. Leave me alone. Or miss at least. Give me a chance. He goes for a bounce. What a play. What a play. I'll give it to him. I totally forgot this thing learns bounce. Zing Zap comes out. What a play, yo. You hunk of junk. We were paralyzed anyway. We were paralyzed anyway. It didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. God, man. It didn't even matter. A drain punch is going to be not very effective. So I got to go for a double edge to take out the Scarados. Let him bounce on me. Hopefully double edge will take out. I don't know if it is. Spiky shield. We're not even going after you, son. We're not even going after you, boy. He's going to bounce. Eat it up, Kangas. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, bro, get out of here. Get out of my face, yo. Close battle there. We would have lost anyway, even if we didn't get paralyzed there because we would have missed our attack. But, yo, I went two so far. We got to get a win in this third battle. We are actually going to be keeping this video shorter than normal. Only two battles today. We went 0-2, sad face. But I know I said we were going to hop into a third one, but I do not have time today. But I still hope you guys did enjoy this video. We got to show off Kangas Kong. This team was awesome, but like I said, the meta and everything is just so strong and it's so hard to counter everything with a random team like this. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.